There's some big pressure being applied to the crypto market and it's happening right now. We've got Fed now saying, hey, international payments, nah, crypto, you ain't got it. We've also got Meta out there threatened to being sued because of crypto scams. We also got seller launching Sorban, which begs me to ask you the question, who else has smart contracts? Because a lot of people are saying Sorban is gonna pump the price. Speaking of price, we're gonna talk excellent price action because right now the battle is happening. Volume is down, and so is the price. Let's get into the news. Starting off with your comments, another balls deep video regarding AI. Can't wait for Daddy Dairy to go away. Physical Silver Fox says, I'm first, I want a medal. Even better, sharing your comments with everyone. And please don't shoot the messenger. I bring the news, whether it's good or bad. And please comment in the question mark community page. I will have a link in the description below. What should be the third crypto we cover continuously on this channel? Heat map, bro, oh, not looking too good. XLM sitting at 12 cents, down 2% last 24 hours. XRP 51.5 holding sideways. Bitcoin 25,960 under that 26,000 mark. E1643, big stuff coming with BRICS conference along with Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Fed Jerome Powell speak. A lot of pressure. Now, no, like I said, don't shoot the messenger. I bring news both good and bad. A lot of you out there were told, once ISO goes live, XLM and the ISOs are going to boom. False. Once Fed now goes live, which is using crypto, it's all going to boom. False. Seriously, think of all the stuff out there, okay? And I know Stellar's going to be launching Surband, and I've heard it from plenty of developers. I've heard it from plenty of creators out there saying, mm, once Surband goes live, this juiciness is going to drive the price. False. We already know it's going to happen. Why would it drive the price? And... Like the whiteboard says behind me, who else has smart contracts? So if you're not the only person in the space and you're not doing anything juicy and new, well then really, where's all the hoopla? Fed now is a reminder that payments aren't crypto's differentiator. A lot of people are lied to out there about Fed now, saying, oh, Fed now is built on crypto. No, it's not at all. Payments, especially those across borders, that's why we're talking about XLM here are often touted as a key use case and value proposition for the blockchain industry. Unfortunately, a look at both technology competition and regulatory environment doesn't support that idea. Totally true. And the launch of FedNow by the Federal Reserve in late July is a good occasion to look at why for most people and companies, the value proposition using crypto or blockchain for based payment services isn't appealing. There's also no insurance or anything like that. And with FedNow, there's also no slippage. So for those of you out there that have been watching the channel saying, Oh, Fed now, ISO, seriously, lies, nothing, hopium, bullshit, nothing burger. That's what worries me with Sorbent. That's what worries me with all these other creators out there. Just wait until they launch smart contracts. There's nothing new there. So if there's nothing new. What's going to generate all the oomph? Where's all the juice going to come from? Speaking of juice, wait until I show you volume statistics regarding XLM. Meta adds crypto scams to the list of reasons why people are threatening them with legal action. Oh, you mean scams found on some of our favorite chains, which have really screwed people over? Thailand's Digital Economy and Society Ministry wants to stop Facebook services in the country due to finance scams. Thailand is gunning for Meta on the back of 200,000 people falling victim to fraud on Facebook, including scams. Now, seriously, been doing stellar coverage, excellent coverage for a long time now, and let me tell you, that chain is riddled with scams, Whiplash, Emily, QSI, it's a mess. How long until Stellar is gone after? And oh, people can hide behind the, oh, it's open source and all that, but you were the one that created that technology, so you are responsible for that technology. Or you should put better blocks in place. The nation's digital economy and society minister lashed out against Facebook owner on Monday, saying he will seek a court order to cut off the company's flagship platform service in his country. He claimed that the firm failed to prevent scammers from buying ads and deceiving people into investing in fraudulent schemes, and they made a threat to ban the platform after discussions with the company to curb the wave of scams, yielded few results. What has Stellar done to block the scams? Seriously, you're going to see this happen. You're going to see people want to take a bite because honestly, there's a lot of people that have lost a ton. In fact, my email box, it's pretty big with a bunch of people saying, hey, look, we were scammed by something found on the Stellar chain. What can we do about it? It's getting pretty bad, everyone. So now if you've got countries going after Facebook, 
We know that Stellar's got how many relevant assets? Not many compared to how many assets on their chain. So you know most of them are bullshit and fake. People are going to go after them. Like I said, I bring news good and bad, so don't shoot the messenger. Go over to Stellar's Twitter page. And again, it's a lot of Sorban stuff and a lot of stuff talking about Meridian 2023. But what are you going to do that's going to get people to come to your space? What are you going to do, Stellar Stellar Development Foundation, to get people excited again? Now, there are going to be some diehards out there in the comments that are going to say, Klaus, you're being negative. Stellar's attracting a lot. No. Market cap has slipped over the years. Relevance in the social dominant sphere has slipped over the last several years. It's not relevant anymore. And okay, you're going to tout smart contracts, but again, dude, like how many other people have smart contracts? And might I remind you that smart contracts have been what? The number one thing being hacked here lately in the crypto space. So you're opening yourself up to that can of worms. And since there's no FDIC insurance, would you be made whole if there was an exploit on a smart contract? I don't think so. All right. Going to bring up some stellar specific stats and we're going to talk price action. Like I said, I wish the news was good, but they're not bringing much good news. So I have to bring you the news that's happening, which is unfortunately not good news. Price down, down 10% last week. Okay, get it. We all see that. But check out this right here. Volume in 24 hours down 43%. That is a shit ton of droppage. What scares me a lot is we saw... The retail pump over the weekend sure as hell didn't last, did it? No, nope. pumps and dumps. You ain't making money hodling, are you? I didn't think so. What are you going to do? You going to keep waiting for the next thing out there? ISO, we're going to boom. Smart contracts, we're going to boom. Fed now, we're going to boom. International payments, we're going to boom. Everyone's doing all that. There's so much competition in the space that it's not special anymore. What bugs me is this right here, this purple line, 12 and a half cent. Like I said, pumps and dumps. You play them or you don't. Hodlers ain't getting rewarded. That's not me being negative. That's me telling you the story of waiting one year for the price to essentially go sideways. You could have played some pumps and dumps if you timed it right. It's very hard to do that, but you could have played it. Taurus pump. Okay, we're still a little bit above Taurus pump, which is good, which is good. See, I bring some good news in here. In fact, XLM has done better than XRP percentage-wise in terms of holding on to Torres gains. That's good news right there. The thing though that is very worrisome is exactly this, the one month chart. Look at this, just down, volume down. And when you zoom out more and more, yeah, there was juicy action with Torres. People got on in. TVL went up and then it just plummeted right back down. People put the money in and they took the profits out because they're like, nothing burger, nothing burger, but we might as well make money to line our pockets now. The scary part is if we can't hold on to this 12 and a half with the BRICS meeting going on right now, like literally as this video is going on, the BRICS meeting is going on. Jackson Hole, Wyoming with the Fed going on here in a couple days. You don't get good news. You got to risk going back to single digits. Now, I know, I know. Some of you out there are going to be like, well, this is great. Great time for me to load up the bags. Well, are you still saying that? Because guess what? Two years ago, was it a great time to load the bags at 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents? You get my point. Like, what's the excuse this time? Where's the relevancy? Where is Stellar going to be moving up on 21st? 21st, look at the things out there that have a higher market cap than Stellar. Avalanche, Unised LEO, Wrapped Bitcoin, Toncoin, Polkadot. I mean, like, so is the technology doing it for you price-wise? No. Is the community doing it? No, the community's shrinking. And they've actually got a really good community. The NFT community out there is fairly strong, but that's shrinking as well. It's about relevance and it's about what can you bring to the market. If your big thing out there is cross-border payments, cool. Fed now is doing it and businesses are going to use it because guess what? There's going to be a whole bunch more protection via Fed now than there is using crypto. And that sucks because I love crypto. But the players in the space aren't doing us right. The players in the space are, well, I mean, they're traveling all over the place. Their outfits are fly AF. Their drip is lit, whatever these kids are calling it now. And what are you getting? Are they buying back? No, they're dumping more on the market. <laughs> they're using lumens, right, that they dump on the market to buy a seat on MoneyGram, of which they're already freaking associated with. 
So like I said, I know what's going to happen. They're going to be talking about, oh, don't worry, Meridian. It's always quiet before the storm. They're going to dump something big. I'll bet you it ain't going to do shit to the price. But there's going to be creators out there that are going to tell you it is. And I'll bet you Sorban, is that going to do anything to the price? I don't know. But I bet you several months after Sorban, I'll bet you I'll be busting out some stories about stuff being hacked because every smart contract out there is being exploited. So what are you getting for hodling? What are you getting for believing? What are you getting for thinking that ISO, Fed now, cross-border payments, it's old news. It was a couple of years ago. You either capitalized on it then or you just become like everyone else now. And that's the sad truth is you have to stay relevant and you have to be on cutting edge, right? Crypto was huge a few years ago with all these promises and stuff, but what have these promises led to? price that's in like decline and i get it if you're in it for the tech awesome but how many of you watching right now are in it for the tech you're in it for a little bit of paper company dunder mifflin paper company i just i'm doing my best to look at the positives of what's out there but the problem is the positives are so few far in between and it's outdated stuff cross-border payments everyone's getting into the space Moving money for cheap, it's so easy to do now. There's several chains that do this. FedNow moves money super cheap. No slippage also. FedNow is signing up banks left and right. You can't get banks to embake crypto. Now, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope I'm wrong for your sake because you all deserve a lot. But you also delir- deserve, ooh, deserve. I'll, I'll leave that mistake in because see, I make mistakes too. But you also deserve a fair shake on the news. And you deserve a fair shake on things being both positive and negative. Like I said earlier, positive is XLM is holding its price better than XRP in terms of the Taurus pump action. The negative, well, if you look at XRP, they've been able to keep their market cap, right? And their market share up way higher where XLM is just kind of fallen, fallen, fallen. So you got two choices and they're up to you. I don't know. You got maybe three. Buy, sell, hold. You get what I'm saying. But they're up to you. My job is to bring you the news so you can make those best choices for yourself in your situation. The problem that I'm seeing is, oh, Soraban, we're going to blow up. We're going to moon on Soraban. But the whiteboard says, who else has smart contracts? A shitload of people do, and they're all getting hacked. So now you're opening yourself up to that can of worms. What am I doing today? saying thank you to all of you for the support in the channel for good news and bad because you understand that good and bad news is what makes the best decisions recovery drink because i had a real easy 5k today that i ran kind of got my legs loosened up felt good you cool cats though have a great rest of your day and stay cool out there because those temps are nasty